My name is Nina, and I am a person living with schizophrenia. I've been diagnosed with this condition for over a decade now, and it's been quite a journey. But before I delve into my experiences with schizophrenia, let me tell you a bit about myself. I've always been an artist, ever since I was a little girl, I would spend hours drawing, painting, and scribbling. I was always fascinated by the world around me and my art was my way of expressing that fascination. Little did I know that my art would end up playing a crucial role in helping me understand and cope with my condition. When I was a teenager, I started experiencing strange things, like hearing voices and seeing things that nobody else could see. I thought I was losing my mind, and I was terrified. I didn't know what was happening to me, and I was too scared to tell anyone. But eventually, the hallucinations got worse and I couldn't ignore them anymore. I started experiencing delusions and my thought process became disorganized. It was then that my family and I realized that something was not right and I was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Being diagnosed with schizophrenia was both a relief and a shock. A relief because I finally knew what was happening to me and a shock because I had heard all the stereotypes and misconceptions. About the condition, I was worried about how it would impact my life. But my family and my doctors were there to support me, and they helped me understand what was happening to me. The hallucinations that come with schizophrenia have always been a part of my life, I see and hear things that others don't. Some of the hallucinations are terrifying, like dark shadows that lurk in the corners of my eyes, or menacing figures that seem to follow me wherever I go. But some of them are beautiful, like gardens full of flowers, or a symphony of music playing just for me. It's like having a parallel universe inside my head, one that is constantly vying for my attention. One of the most difficult things about having schizophrenia is not being able to tell the difference between what is real and what is not. Sometimes I get lost in my own mind, and it's hard to come back to reality. But, as I said before, art has been my saving grace. It's been a way for me to express my experiences, a way for me to make sense of what I see and hear. It's also been a way for me to connect with others and to help them understand what it's like to live with schizophrenia. I've had art shows featuring my work, and through them, I've met other people with schizophrenia and their loved ones, and it's been a powerful experience. Living with schizophrenia is not easy, it's a constant battle in my mind, but I've learned to live with it. It's taught me to be resilient and to never give up. It's also made me realize the importance of support, understanding, and acceptance. I'm grateful to have a family and friends who have been there for me, and to have art as a way to express myself. Through this journey, I've learned that people living with schizophrenia are just like everyone else, with hopes, dreams and aspirations, but we face additional challenges in life. It's important that we are understood and supported in order to live full lives. I hope that by sharing my story, I can help break down the stereotypes and misconceptions about schizophrenia and show that people living with it can lead happy and meaningful lives.